Sid's gone. The McFarlane's confirmed it. He's halfway across the Atlantic and under Grand Richard. So, come on. How did you raise it? Well, let's just say there's probably a removal van on the way round to ours right now. You saw your flat? And half the haulage firm. He fleeced you. Who did? Joe Tate. What? Aaron was gonna die. I'd have given him anything. And how do you tell if she's got nowhere to come home to now? We're not doing it. You tell him no. It's a hundred grand. You think he's gonna let it go this time? And besides, we shook on it. Yeah, cos Tate's a man of his word. Look how he treated Debbie and the kids. Thrown out into the streets. Yeah, exactly, and he's not doing that to live. We have no choice, right? I crossed him once, and he'll wreck our lives if we try and do it again. You're still in one piece, Aaron. Oh, and you brought the baby along. Here to witness the crumbling of a family empire. A Kodak moment. Just give us the paperwork. <sighs> I'm missing Ashley's memorial for this. What's so urgent? My solicitors had these drawn up. They stand there watertight. Just sign them. Sign what? What I was promised. Long story short, Jimmy, I always win. I'm, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I... I had no choice. About what? Aren't you going to welcome your new business partner? You can't sign that. It's robbery. And it call your wife all you want, Jimmy. Nothing's changing. What's up? Why would you hand over everything you've worked for? I've no choice. Graham, if you could get the rest of his stuff, it all looks like junk. But we know how attached he gets to inanimate objects. My lawyers had a look at that little flat. The uh, contract enables you to sign it over. I'm on for this place. So I'll have a roof over head. In prison. Doesn't it speak? You can just put an X if the name is too much. Gentlemen, you made a deal. Prove it. Ring me if you need anything. Rub it. You would have taken him, wouldn't you? What? I'm just trying to go over everything that happened. Everything was going crazy after the accident, and I was out of control. I was angry. It was just for one day, but I got it in my head that Lachlan had caused the crash. And, and I was wrong, Rebecca, I know that. But everything I said, I was only ever acting as a father, keeping our baby safe. But why torture yourself bringing all this up anyway? It was an accident, there was no one to blame. Everything okay? The past is the past. Let's leave the mistakes there. So, just come back to work, Robert. He's Joe's a shareholder, but Jimmy's still the director. We've checked and his contract says he can hire and fire who he wants. And you want to hire me? For less cash. But it's still a wage. Babies aren't free. And I can't imagine solicitors for ketamine lace income that cheap either. It's not about money. It's about getting one over on Joe, right? Think about it. He comes in tomorrow. You're still sat there, in your chair, fully employed. Nothing's changed. And there's not a thing he can do to stop it. Plus, I need you. Joe will push me out next. He'll take complete control if you're not there with me. And this is what I take? It's completely legal. And a deal. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, man club needs us. One last tribute for our Ashley. <laughs> <laughs>